So Ed Nordholm releases a statement regarding the rumors of late pay issues. And this is something very, very much the opposite of Dixie Carter. Because we know that there were pay issues for quite some time. And to my recollection, I don't remember her saying anything to uh, disprove that fact. She was um, often criticized for just acting like everything was hunky-dory all the time. And they were just a big family and that's just the way it was. So Ed releases this statement. I'm going to read it uh, verbatim and then talk about it real quick. Quote, talent is not behind on their pay. We generally provide for talent to be paid as independent contractors in the month following a month in which services are rendered. This was an improvement over previous management where talent checks were issued only as the actual episodes aired. We instituted a payment policy last year to pay for all services rendered in a month in the following month, <clears throat> Excuse me, regardless of when the shows would air. Accordingly, checks for January were ma mailed out earlier mid-month. Checks for November were mailed out mid-December. And then he goes on to cite uh, Christmas delays, which is a real thing. We realize that one unexpected impact of moving our corporate offices to Canada has been further delay with mail services going cross-border. We're working to streamline our talent payroll processing so future events will be paid closer to the beginning of each month after services are rendered end quote so i'm sure that for a long time impact towns were you know receiving a check obviously at a certain time um at, you know as he was saying as the services were rendered basically he pointed out that the checks were not going out until after the episode actually aired which you can understand probably gets pretty difficult to track for the payroll department. You know, if you think about the job that you do, um, you know, wh whatever job you do, you got pay periods. Now in this world, maybe there's not pay periods. I don't really know exactly. I'm not an expert on this. All I can really do is, is speculate. But I pointed this out a while ago when it comes to independent contractors. Like you don't have a payday. So when the, when a lot of wrestlers are like, well, I'm being paid late. Now, don't, I'm not saying they weren't paid late, but what's your definition of late? A lot of, in a lot of instances, if you hire an independent contractor to do something, they typically bill you. It's not a, you know, you, you don't sit there, pay them right on the spot. Now with the independent show, that's, that's really very different. And, and I would imagine they absolutely want to be paid <laughs> when they leave there. And I know in, in many cases they get uh, paid a deposit before they even perform. But in this world, in this corporate world, you have to you have to have some kind of payment policy in place. And it sounds like what Dixie Carter um, and the previous regime really had in place obviously was not working. I, th I think anyone, a blind man, could see that through a brick wall that that was not working. So now a much more polished businessman with the two vice presidents who are also very successful businessmen in their own right have come up with this new policy. Now in the short term, it's probably frustrating because they probably are getting paid late in the short term, but in the long term, um, it, it catches up. It's kind of like when you start a new job um, and sometimes you don't get paid for three weeks because you don't really make the pay period. And it's frustrating because you're like, damn, I've just worked for, I've worked for three weeks and I still haven't received a check yet. So that can be very, very frustrating, but it eventually catches up and then it becomes a very consistent process. So we'll see what happens um, going forward. I'm really happy that he, he did say something though, instead of just letting the wrestling media take this and roll with it. Now they had an issue, you know, a statement issue that they could print up and roll with. So that's really great. I, I really have to believe that the people in the charge of the company right now are a lot more competent and there's not the pay issues that are in the past from the past regimes, but you can imagine probably some of the wrestlers are a little spoiled in how they're receiving their money previously. And I think that has to do with a lot of the departures, a lot of the, you know, guys who are making big money and now the smarter businessmen come in and say, okay, we can't pay you that. I understand you were getting that. But we cannot pay you that. That's not smart business. 
and you know the wrestler said, "Well, I'm used to getting this, so okay, now we're done." And maybe they get disgruntled at the end of the day. So good on Ed. We're gonna see what happens going forward with this pay thing, but um, I think it makes a lot of sense to have some kind of structures, you know, saying, uh, "Okay, the whole set of tapings is done on this date." Now. Every single person on the roster is going to be paid six weeks from that date. And I understand that's probably a long time. And he looks like they're trying to work on uh, making it closer to when they actually uh, the services were rendered. But you but anyone can see that that is a much more structured process than sending out a bunch of random checks as the episodes air. So in my opinion, good on them. Not a not an expert by any means. And maybe some of you out there have um, more more experience when it comes to independent contractors and stuff. I don't personally, um, there are some services I've rendered that usually I, you know, whether it's graphic design or something like that, that I, yeah, I'm usually looking to get paid fairly quickly after, but the wrestling world is a little different and the TV world is different. So I guess none of us are experts is what I'm saying. Thanks for listening folks. Hit the subscribe button. It's your first time here. And, um, if you're listening to this video, you're, you're probably going to be part of the group that takes this channel to half a million views. We're almost there. So thanks for listening, folks. Talk to you soon. Peace.